to the check-in report. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel today. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the check-in report where we break down police, body cam, and law enforcement interaction. I am your host, True and Living. And today's topic, ladies and gentlemen, we have a woman who is a fake check scam artist. Don't you hate it when people try to uh, get over on people? They try to scam you out of your money, out of your hardworking money. And that's what this woman tried to do. She tried to scam at a local pawn shop. Let's get right into the video. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen, here on the check-in report. Let's get into it. On September 26, 2023, officers responded to a pawn shop to investigate a potential fraud. Mm, okay. So what's, she, what's going on? She's trying to cash in. Twenty-four thousand dollar counterfeit check. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. That's a lot of money. What's this all about? Um, I had received a check in the mail, and it was supposed to be a payback out from my back pay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just received a check in the mail, talking about you, you. you. <laughs> Did you ever work for this company? Did you, I mean, come on now. What, 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 what's going on here? You know, she, 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 she let's, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. You expect that check for almost $24,000? I wasn't, not really. $2,400. You expect that check at all? I knew I was trying to cash it in, trying to get a little couple ducats, you know, trying to get a little Birkin bag or something. Okay. What car did you show up in? It was a Mazda. And why did they leave? Because we was running late picking up my kids from school. All right, so why didn't you go pick up your kids from school then? Because I had told them I was coming back about 5 o'clock. Yeah, instead of scamming, maybe you should have go pick up your kid. Maybe you should have did that. Maybe that was better off you doing that. Well, before then. You was better off doing that. I mean, this. They're saying this is a fraudulent check. I don't know. Oh, 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 and you see her looking around, eyes looking all shifty. She knows. She knows she up there. She knows she done messed up. Three forty-five. She knows she done stepped in a whole bunch of poop. This is the check you tried to use. That's a copy of everything. Hey, we're going to get into the, the meat and potatoes of this. I know you're kind of mm -hmm. wondering what's going on. Before I do As that, I should. got questions I want to ask you. I got to read you your rights. Doesn't mean you're in trouble. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand each of the rights I just read to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, having your rights in mind, which is what I just read to you. Do you want to talk to us and answer questions? I just want to know. I would love to explain hold on, hold on, to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to talk to the law enforcement? Yes or not? It may be able to help you to get out of this, but you know you want to, you know you you want to be all shifty with the eyes and nah, I don't want to talk to y'all. You're gonna land yourself in some trouble. You said you got kids. This woman, she's not she's not being smart right now. The only way I can talk to you is if you agree to talk to us yes. after being yes. mm -hmm. right, good. Okay. So what what's going on? We're we're, we're what here. What is going on? You're here. The checks here. What, let's hear, let's, let's hear what she got going on. Basically, okay. Mm -hmm. I received a check. In the mail that okay. was supposed okay. to be for back pay. Okay. When did you receive it? Last week. Where? At your house? Yes. Okay. So, I haven't been staying home, honestly. And I called my aunt and I was asking her, like, hey, have I got any mail? This and that. So she was like, yo, you know, you got a couple of. So your aunt stays with you? Yes. Okay. I stayed where I stayed with you. Throw her aunt underneath you know? the bus yeah. right now. So, she was like, that I had a few pieces of mail in this and the third. So, I had went to go pick it up. Okay. So, after that, that's when, um, I noticed that the check had came. Okay. So I was like, oh, well, you know, boom. So last week when I picked it up, I never ended up cashing it because due to my rate schedule, I always got off work late. 
Okay. And so then after that, that's when I had on um, camera. This story sounds absolutely ridiculous. And today, because I was off yeah. and to cash the check. And when I tried to use my photo ID on my phone, they was like, no, I needed a physical ID. So I had went and got a physical ID okay. and this happened. So that check was for what? For unemployment. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 2400 for unemployment? You got 2400 for sitting on your keister? Is that what you're telling me? Something ain't adding up here. It ain't adding up. It ain't looking good for you. It ain't looking good for you. It ain't adding up. 2400 for sitting on your keister back pay. For doing nothing. Have you ever gotten unemployment before? No, I applied once, but like I never received anything, never heard anything goes back. So it was okay. just like. So this is the first time you've ever done unemployment, filed for it or anything like that. You've never received checks before for unemployment or anything. This is right. the first one. Yes. Okay. Where's the envelope that that came in? Do you um, have? Yeah, it? we need to see that. It was supposed to have been up front if they didn't move it. Okay. Um. Do you remember who it came from? What was on the envelope? Mm -hmm. It was like it was a blank envelope with a clear slip, and it was a paper in front of it. And then, like when you unfold it, it was like the check. The rest of the well, you know how like you rip off a check. Mm -hmm. That's how it was. When you filed for unemployment, how'd you do it? What what site did you go to? Mm -hmm. um, I, how you don't know? How you don't know? How you don't know? How you don't know? How you got to look it up online? You filed for unemployment, right? You should know the website you went to, the 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 order, the, the 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 applications you filed. You should know this. Come on now. Yeah, you gotta take my back. What did you receive? Did you get like an email after you applied? Mm -hmm. Did you receive anything? I had basically received a letter saying that I had to submit some more um, information in, but that was the only thing. It once I had not submitted everything, that was it. This is not did adding you up. Submit the paperwork. Yes. It's not adding up. Okay. How that was. That? I did it online. Like at the time, I was doing everything online. But how I had like knew to do like the unemployment and stuff. My friend was telling me about it. Mm -hmm. So she. Did you ever receive an approval or a denial from them for unemployment? I basically, I really. She just got a check for twenty four hundred and just started to cash it. <laughs> That's the story she wants to go with. She doesn't want to say, "Oh, I went through the process. Or I got approved. I got denied." She just got a check for twenty four hundred out of the blue for no reason. She don't even have an employment history. To say, "Well, I got let go from this job, and this is the job that's paying me unemployment." She don't even have that. Ridiculous. Too much to hear nothing else. And then it was like I had um, started doing hair, so it was like I wasn't really too focused on it. There's not really anything about this that's not fishy. You know what I mean? <laughs> None of this makes sense. Absolutely not. Right. Um, we're asking you questions because we're trying to gauge where you're at as far as what you're going to tell us and how truthful you're going to be. But I'm going to tell you right now, not a darn thing that's come out of your mouth has made any sense. Okay. 2019, <laughs> you applied for unemployment. Is that what you said? No, it wasn't. Get get your story right. Get get your story right. We we all listening intently. Get your stories right. I wouldn't even say it was twenty nineteen. I want to say it was twenty twenty. Okay, so let's so say now it's, now it's twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's three years later. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. Almost twenty twenty four. And you receive a check for supposedly what you applied. Twenty four hundred. Back pay for sitting on your keister. For three years prior. And I'm going to tell you right now, unemployment doesn't give lump checks. Exactly. Okay. Um, Increments payments. Unemployment is a payment. Exactly. As if you were working. I never okay. Did. And those checks don't come from the treasury. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, but I'm letting you know that I know that. Uh, well, okay. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. That, like, I never received unemployment. I never got a check from treasury. Or anything. So this is like my first time actually receiving something like this. I, I promise okay. you, I'm not lying to you. Just, just so you know, for four years, I did fraudulent investigations mm -hmm. for the department. And I saw stuff like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll, and I'll tell you right now, 
The reason we're asking you this, he's saying we're gauging uh, how truthful you're going to be. I'll tell you right now, this is your chance to be honest because I know. Tell the exactly truth. Tell the truth to shame the devil. Um, I can call it exactly like I've seen it every other time before. Somehow, someone came in contact with you, a male, mm -hmm. probably the male that's sitting in your car out there in the passenger seat, the <laughs> black Chevy Malibu, and that person convinced you that you need to go in here and you need to cash this check, and then the payment would be to receive a portion of that check while they get the other. You being a single mom, I don't know if you getting paid a lot right now. I'm not going to worry about that. But you would get a portion of that money. And they would get the rest. And all you had to do was go in here, show your ID, and here you go, and this is what you got to say, mm -hmm. and these people will buy it. And I say that because I recently arrested someone not too long ago mm. for the same similar type of thing. Here. Mm. So, with that being said, we already know the person out in the car because I don't know if you know this or not, but this place has video cameras. Mm -hmm. So they come... Or, I'm sorry, you come here and they see exactly what cars you come in and out of. Mm -hmm. And they see what cars come at the same time that you come. Right. Well, that car was here earlier with you. Right. So it's right. odd that it's back now and there's a guy that's just been sitting there waiting. Y'all been running this game for how long? It just seems like it would be easier to get a job to me. It just seems like it would be easier to start up a business. Do some freelance work. <laughs> Why go through all the trouble of being a criminal? Well, actually, in the passenger seat. Now, my, my question is, is, did this guy contact you through like Instagram or Facebook? Tell the truth. Or what, and what did he promise you? It's time for you to snitch. Tell the truth. Because, and maybe he told you that, yes, this is this is legit. And, you know, this is what it is. He but lied to you. Right you. Now, he lied to you, baby girl. Um. <laughs> they try to do this whole thing all the time with people. We're like, here, this is this is what it is. This is what you're going to tell them. That way it sounds legit or tries to sound legit. The problem is, is that treasury check, first off, it's fake as heck. There's there's Man, nothing no. about that check that's even <laughs> remotely much. real. You wouldn't get a check from the treasurer anyway that comes in a blank envelope in the mail three years later, and then you claim it's unemployment. So you can sit here and tell us all day long that this is what – you believe it is, or this is what you think it is, or whatever story they concocted for you. But ultimately, you need to tell us who the person is out there, how they contact you, and everything else. Maybe we can listen. You, you, it's time for you to save yourself, ma. Save yourself. You know, you know, drop the dom or whoever you got out there. Drop the dom on them. I'm not, I'm not promising we can, <laughs> but well, this is your chance to be honest. You got, you got kids at home. You know, you a young woman. Drop the dime on them. Because I'm telling you right now, I already know you're lying. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Let's hear it. The person that's in the car, that's my little brother. He's a minor. Oh, my goodness. You trying to throw it on your little brother now? You trying to tell me your little brother put you up to this? And you wasn't the sensible, responsible one with a level head to not do this? Come on, now. He's 17. He has nothing. Absolutely, nothing to do with this. That's number one. I'm complete. I promise you, I'm completely honest with you. Okay. Number two, the check that came in the mail. Basically, my friend helped me apply for unemployment. She told me basically like you go on this. She's lying. Like you do such such such, and that was it. She's just digging herself in a bigger hole. So, so you're gonna stick with that that case. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna call her friend, or they're gonna reach out to her friend, and they're gonna be, and, and their friend is gonna say, "I don't know what this woman is talking about. I've never heard of this woman. <laughs> We're not friends. I, I've probably I probably seen them once in my life. I don't know how she got my number. Click." Came in the mail. <laughs> That's what you're sticking with. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, we're getting to a point where there's a, there's gonna be a line, and once we meet that line of our patience with this there's going to be no going i've already met my line back and helping you i can give you my friend information that help me do everything 
but you can't you can't show us anything about anything that you applied for, any website, any email. Nothing anything. that said you were ever going to get money back, which doesn't make sense. You'd get it back from the treasury anyway. A big lump sum of twenty four thousand mm-hmm. dollars three years later after you file for unemployment. That makes there's going to be no they're not sense just whatsoever. Send you a check without some sort of notification, especially for that amount. And with unemployment, you get approved or you get denied. I've done unemployment before back mm. in the day. You get approved, you get denied, but it's all notifications to your email, in the mail, and you have documentation for everything because that's yep. that's a government entity. That's a fact. And they have to keep records of everything, and you get notifications of every decision that they that's make. A fact. You can't show us one piece of it, documentation. That's, that's what I'm saying to you. I didn't do everything by myself. My friend helped me. I could give you my friend information. I could give you her name. Who helped me with it? You're dancing. You're dancing. You're dancing. Everything. I just. I don't. I, They're gonna give you all the charges. I can give you all the person contact information. <laughs> Your friend? Yes. Okay. That's what are they gonna do? They're gonna tell me. Oh uh, yeah, I helped her file for unemployment. Yeah, 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 what? yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope to. I hope to do that fraudulent scam. Yeah, yeah. Come, come pick me up. I'm, I'm over here at a uh, hundred Evergreen Terrace. Come scoop me up. Yeah, I, I'll go to prison for the for the charges. I tell you, why not? Do I give me your friend's information. <laughs> While we're here with you, we're gonna call her. We're gonna see what she says. Like I said, I've done this for a long time. I did this for four years. All kinds of stuff. The only thing that ever changed was the names of the people that did it. Mm. That's it. It's the only thing that ever changed. I promise you this, my first Because time. I can look at that. No, it's not. That check right there. And I can tell that that is beyond fake. It's laughable. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I've got a question for you. We're down here with a uh, uh, young lady who gave me your Oh, number. they're calling yeah. her. They're calling her. Did you ever uh, assist her uh, years ago or anything with uh, trying to help her file for unemployment? Did she did she mention anything to you about did, have you re, have you received any checks or anything like from the U.S. Treasury? I mean, you don't remember where you went through to apply for those? I don't know what she I don't I know what she talking about. <laughs> and the funny thing is, if, if 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 I was a scam artist, and 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 I and and. and <laughs> And I put her up to do it. And she gave the number to the police. They call him up. He's the one who put me up to this. I would have said the same thing. I would have been like, I don't know who that woman is. I don't know how she got my number. Uh, uh, like, yeah, come on now. You're giving, you're giving police numbers and all this other nonsense. Listen, oh. ain't, ain't nobody going to stay face for you, man. Well, Take your charge. We're here with her. Um, she's here with a, <laughs> uh, a fake check from the Treasury. So we're, we're trying to figure out. Take she's your charges. Basically throw you under the bus saying that you're the one that was the one that showed her how to do all this and, and, and get this and everything. So um, she gave us your number and your name because she's trying to get herself out of trouble. Do you know what they want to do? So I don't know. I, I don't know. I've been out there talking to the employees. I don't know what you've been talking to Officer Dutchman about, Officer Tommy. What I can tell you is between the two of them, they have close to like 25 years of experience. Like doing this type of stuff. Yeah, I mean the cops see this all so the time. They see instances they see cases like this all the time. People coming in with fake checks. Yeah, you you're not the first professionally, I can tell you. You're not the first, you know, num numb nut to come in there. And you said that 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 came with a fraudulent check. Okay. And then yeah, because I asked these guys and they don't have the envelope, so um, yeah, no, they're not. There, there is no envelope, man. She, she printed that up. Okay. I'll have to ask him about it. So you spent a while talking to Officer Dutchman here. No, you spent a while talking to Officer Coney. Who, who draw or who brought you here? How'd you get here? How'd you get there? Let's hear that. You drove yourself in what car? Uh, Malibu. Who else was in the car with you? My little brother. He's gone. Mm-hmm. He left. He done left you. He done left you. He done left you. Take them charges, sis. That's what he said. Listen, listen, big sis. You 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 can handle it. Take those charges, big sis. You went in there. You you wanted the money. Take them charges, big sis. He had to go pick up my kids. Your kids. Stop it. Um, based off of what we have here, okay, you're under arrest. Exactly. Call? Um, what do you want to call? Let's go ahead and get your handcuffs first. We'll call when we got the phone. Okay. Yeah. She want to call everybody. She want to call a friend, little brother. 
And you and you can't feel sorry for scam artists, man. Right, they rip people car. off. Yeah, that's gonna poke me seven sticky. Oh. Scam people out of their money. Take advantage of the oh, system. The oh. Oh, there you go. There's an envelope. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that says FIS output solutions. That's not from the US Treasury. I can tell you that from the back. <laughs> All right, go ahead and take a seat. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're going to have to kind of reach in. Yeah, here. get in there. Like. It's like this mud. Like, I'm going to slide if I. Oh, maneuver your body in there. Come on. We'll put the AC on. <laughs> I'll put the AC on for you. <laughs> and like I said, listen, you can't feel sorry for scam artists because they rip people off to take advantage of people. Let me hit this button real quick. You know, salute to the police for their fine police work, great police work, fine police work for nabbing that straight up criminal, just a, a criminal in the highest order. But I thank you guys for joining me. This is the check-in report. I will see you guys with another video on another time. Salute. We out of here, y'all. Toodles. Reppin' the road, throwin' shadows with my name on their toes. These studies have knocked me out. She put the seat back in the hottest seat, why does she lose?